Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another African mini zoo episode, which I actually did not expect because for some reason I had like this brain freeze that I thought that the uh, Egyptian fruit bat was the only African animal in the Twilight pack. But in fact, someone pointed out on Twitter, thank you so much for that, is that the red fox also uh, lives a little tiny edge in Africa. So I am just super excited because I really want to add the red fox and actually wasn't quite sure if I wanted to add it in a tropical franchise where we will be adding the common one bat at least. But I am just super excited to uh, be able to add another animal in our Africa Mini Zoo series uh, because the bats are really cool. The more I see the bats, the more I am happy with these bats. So that is just a really good thing. I do wonder if I am able to today find some more bats in the training center. No, that is not the case. But right now we have uh, six bats right over here. So uh, three males and three females. Okay, guys, this is the secret. I did not show you guys this. <laughs> but the ugly rock work is just not finished from the outside, you know. We have five in here with two pregnant. Actually, that's not bad. So with the amount of bats that we have right now, we are able to get in some more in the future. Talking about the red fox, I did. I, I could not help myself. I have one with red peebaldism. So peebald, red, brown, and white pipe fur, black legs, white chest, and tail tip. And then we have a normal red fur, black legs, white chest, and tail tip female. I could not handle myself. We will get back to the red fox in a later stage, obviously, uh, when we're going to build the habitat, about the habitat requirements and stuff. But for now, I do want to check a few things. Uh, so we have the Goliath frog had offspring, but we did set up like all the management features with the exhibits in the previous episode. So that should now all be handled well with our training center right over here. How? Oh, maybe I did get another bat. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's perfect. I did find one more in the training center so we can now have six in this one and six in that one that is actually just perfect but yeah we did set up all the uh, management things for the exhibit so all the animals that will be born right now will be added in our training center so i'm not going to uh, worry about the uh, smaller exhibits anymore at this point but we do need to uh, take care of a few things right over here because our niyalas for example, and also the warthogs. Oh gosh, okay, yes, we have an issue right over here. The Nialas and the warthogs both are fighting due to uh, some overcrowdedness. We have another male in here. We have one female that is pregnant. I feel like maybe we should just put all of these up in a training center and just make sure that they can be adopted. And then it's like the, the bongos. Hi, cutie. <laughs> Hi. Hello, lovely face. <laughs> okay, so what do we have right over here? We actually have two males that can be put up for adoption and three adults. I, th I think everything is fine, yes. Okay, we don't have to worry about the bungos right over here, but the warthogs are definitely having a little bit of an issue right over here. We have too many adults in here, and that also means we have one... You know what? I'm actually going to put this one up in the training center. We have one with contraceptives, and then we can put you up in a training center as well, and the rest are babies. I think if we do it like this, things will go a little bit better. I don't see any protesters in here, so I uh, I take it. All right, yes, okay. I'm, <laughs> I just actually wanna see this happening because you guys told me in one of the previous episodes, like, hey, you know what is causing all these lemurs to escape? Like, 
I hear an alarm right now. Oh, is that you? It might actually be you. Mm, I can put you in here. I didn't know they could actually sit on this edge. Did Frontier also change that? Oh no, I don't think so. Okay, I no, I still hear the alarm. Uh, but this box is actually causing animals to escape. So when they play with the box, they have this animation and then they end up at the end of the animation, like outside of your barriers. And that is causing a lot of these animals to escape. So yeah, when moving this box, this definitely should help. I did actually have <laughs> these turned off still, but I did turn them on now. So we should not be missing out on any messages, just like the uh, maturing of the fennec fox, but we don't have to do anything with that. Oh, okay, yeah, there, there, there seem to be a few tiny little bugs with escaping since a new pack, but so far I, I don't really feel like it's causing me that many issues. So for now, at least, I think we can just continue playing without worrying too much about that. <gasps> Cheetah had offspring. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have three adults in here. One male. Uh, no, two males and one female. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. You are so beautiful. Oh, they are so adorable. But how many did we get? How much offspring did you get? Can we see that? Are you the dad? I, I, oh yes, you are. So you got two children, two females. Oh, there you are. Look at you, pretty cheetah cub. But actually, are these guys? Oh, they are spotless cheetahs, pale yellow coat. Oh my goodness, you look just like your daddy. That's amazing! So we have two little females, both being spotless cheetahs with just a pale yellow coat. That is freaking awesome. I really do like that. Oh, right. Lions. I did release the elderly lions in the wild because their two cubs did grow up. So I did get Nima on the market. So Nima is the new little girlfriend of this beauty, Runako, because Runako was the golden status cup of the two, uh, the, the couple that we had for like the whole series. But unfortunately, I was not able to, uh, to record that. But uh, yes, we did replace these uh, beautiful elderlies with uh, this cup, Runako. And this Nima lion, and if I compare their mates, they have a really, really good chance of getting offspring. So these two are going to uh, hopefully bring in some beautiful cubs in our zoo again. Are you guys going to do some animations with each other or something? Because that would be super amazing. Ooh. It's only not exactly working how it should, but they actually did. I don't know about you guys, but I have the feeling that Frontier has been adding a lot more animations again. But I could be completely wrong, but I just have the feeling that something like that is happening. Oh, right. I also put a few Nialas and some Warthogs uh, up for adoption or in the or, or release them in the wild like most of them are released in the wild and I think right now I only have yeah the two foxes left in our training center so we can build a habitat for them in a later stage. So I quickly want to check up on our Okapis. Where is the Okapi habitat? That should be right over here. We have a beautiful Okapi habitat. <gasps> Look at that! We have a little baby Okapi! Oh my, look how beautiful this all looks. And then having that little... Can you please... <laughs> please wait! <laughs> it's running away from me! Look at this little one. Oh, and all these guests standing there trying to get a glimpse of this little baby Okapi. Hi! 
I actually had no idea they were pregnant. I probably just forgot about that. But man, am I happy to see you! You are a little girl and called Ayobunmi. You are so beautiful. Welcome to our zoo. I'm so happy to see you in here. Look how awesome this looks with the sunlight. I can look at this game for hours and enjoy all the beauty of it. This is just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. We actually have another Okapi in here. Now, one thing that I do find a pity is that, um, if I'm correct, the Okapi can only have one to two adults in here. Now, the funny thing is, like, this habitat is inspired of the uh, Congo forest of Rotterdam Zoo, which is my most favorite zoo, Blydorp. And um, they actually have, well, I don't know exactly how many, but I think it's like three or four, maybe even five okapis. But, but they do have like the option to like split off the habitat or something like that. I, I'm not really sure if it's like, open all the time or that it maybe is like a male in one or two males in one and, and like females in the other side i do not dare to say like if there is anyone watching right now and you have any information about how that exactly works in rotterdam zoo i would absolutely love to know because i don't know i'm just curious because this one says you can only have two adults in one habitat but they clearly, like, 100% have more than two Okapi. So I am just super curious how that works. And, and, yeah, I don't know. Like, why do we have only maximum of two while in real life you have more? Oh, man. Did they change anything off the graphics or something? I mean, I am so much enjoying the viewing of this this oh, man of the zoo and and so many angles all oh, right i actually want to check real quick up on our fennec foxes like they they have enough space they, they do really well there there's some um spoiled food in here uh okay there you are i'm just curious how many do we have in here right now like this space is definitely not an issue, but... Okay, there's another one. Packmates. Okay, see? So so do we have five in here then? Oh, uh, wait, uh, are you... Uh, uh, <laughs> are you stuck? <laughs> wait, what? You are not uh, really cleaning. But it cannot pick you up either. Um, um, do I need to fire you? Shall I try and fire you? Can, can I... Re oh, all right, all right. You <laughs> you just reset yourself. Uh, wait, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I wanted to check how many animals do we have. We have five in here, which is just. Are, <laughs> are you going again? <laughs> oh no! Wait, okay. What happens if I just? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> just call a keeper. All right, okay, maybe that that helped. I don't know, I'm not really sure. Uh, but these Fennec Foxes are doing really well. They, they have plenty of space to uh, get a bigger family in here. And as long as they are able to reproduce, we do not have to do anything with them. Oh, they're so adorable, aren't they? Oh man, I can't wait. Uh, the red fox in our zoo as well, like right over here. Like, this is an African mini zoo, ladies and gentlemen. So that means that I'm not going to add all the African animals. And I'm also not going to add uh, any other animals from the toilet pack, for example. And I actually had the plan, and, and I feel like that is just quite enough to add two more animals in here. So one over here somewhere, and one over here somewhere. And then obviously we need to connect everything and we need to make everything look nice and pretty. Like, I feel like this being some kind of dead end might actually work. Like, ugh, obviously we can add plenty of more animals. I already see the comments coming, but please also add this animal. You have so much space here. You have so much, but that's not my plan. 
I wanted to do an African mini series, series with like maybe 15 animals or 15 episodes or something like that. And making it more? No. No, we're going to make it a mini zoo. So yes, we are going to add the red fox in here. And I'm just super excited to add these guys in here because we have this beauty right over here. And then at this beauty and I cannot wait to see uh, their offspring and see them make a little or a little big family in here. Like you can have 14 adults in one habitat and that would be like uh, seven females and, and seven males if I'm correct. So one to 14, 13 males up to 13 females. But I honestly do not want to create like a habitat for 14 red foxes. This is still a mini zoo. So I feel like we should go for like eight adults max. So that would be 530 square meters. I think this is about the right size to add in a mini zoo, to be honest. So yeah, I think that eight would be the maximum. And here you can see that little tiny edge here in Africa that they also do live in Africa. So uh, I'm just super excited to add these guys. So you know what, without further talking, let's just go and start building a habitat for the beautiful red fox of the Twilight Pack.
Oh my, oh my. Do these red foxes look absolutely amazing? I am just falling crazy in love with these guys. They are just so freaking beautiful. Like the fur, the color scheme, the eyes are freaking amazing. Like, I really did not notice with my overview video, which was like recorded pretty much in a rush, that uh, this animal looks so freaking beautiful. I like, don't get me wrong, the red fox also looks really amazing. But with the peabodism, oh wow, it's, it's giving them like this extra dimension or something like that. I don't know, it's just freaking amazing. I really do hope, like let's have a quick look. Are they going to uh, to mate by any chance? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, uh, if we just check right over here. So we already have a 93% chance for offspring, which is incredible already. But we do need to do the research. Like this is one of those animals that we do not have any research on just yet. So where are you? You are right over here. So there we go. And who is Carlton doing? All oh, right, we have the advanced research. Let's put Carlton on the reticulated giraffes for some advanced research. And the other one can research the uh, beautiful red fox. I really, really do hope that we are able to see some kits in here. That would be just freaking amazing. But let me just show you guys the habitat because obviously you probably have been watching the speed build and this is the end result of the speed build. So we have more of a round cage this time. Like I first thought, oh, another cage, shall we do that? And then I was like, you know what? There are so many, if, if I look up, exhibits for the rat fox in a real life zoo there are just so many with like a cage i was like you know what we just have to do it again i mean i'm just enjoying myself and i really do hope you guys like it as well i do try to make it like uh original or a different type of shape than the things that we uh we did earlier so hopefully uh you guys uh, do like these type of habitats as well it's, it's just fun and it's different uh, than the other things that we did. So I am really enjoying myself. We have two burrows in here. I actually was really happy. I, I didn't notice as well with the overview video, but I am really happy to see that they are able to use the burrows as well. So we have two burrows, which are basically... Can I click that one? Enter view. Basically empty apart from like one trunk <laughs> sticking out of the out of the ceiling and this one is the same. So but other than that, they are actually pretty clean. I was building everything around it and I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be messed up 100 percent But it, it's not that bad even. They have a little water section right over here so they can uh, and have like this natural water source. This is There is like a rubber ducky in there, but it's not like super, super uh, deep water or anything like that. Like, as you can see, <laughs> they can walk through it and they can play with the rubber ducky. So I guess that's all right. Uh, Niala is about to have some offspring. But yeah, so they have a little bit of extra terrain basically right over here. So this is like a, a very empty shelter building, just like we have with the uh, fennec fox on the other side. But this helps because the amount of space, if you guys remember, can I click you? Uh, there you go. We needed 530 square meters for six or no eight adults in total we have 500 so it's going to be a little bit orange uh once we have eight adults in here but uh hey this is a mini zoo so i think i actually did a perfect job on the amount of space requirements and and trying to calculate it right and and, and stick to uh the size so i think i did a really good job on that Obviously, the terrain and stuff is not exactly what well, they don't really mind any coverage, but the uh, terrain is, is not exactly how you want it to be. But it's all right. Like their welfare is 92%. So that is uh, that is just perfect, actually. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is looking. I think it looks really nice. In the beginning, I was not entirely sure. There's a feeding plate right over here, by the way. 
I wasn't really sure how to fill this all in, so I really just started pretty empty without any ideas, adding this burrow and then that burrow, and slowly I, I got like more inspiration of how to do this. Like I had an idea to、uh, raise the middle a little tiny bit. I saw something like the shape, something similar online with also like this, but but they can obviously not really. Walk up, climb up here. Unfortunately, but they can. They they have like these branches in real life habitats to be able to to climb up somewhere. And this is just a little funzy, just to、uh, walk up there onto the rocks. And when I started adding like these these rougher rock、uh, formations, after that I was like, oh yes, this is gonna look awesome. And then I really got in my flow. To continue this habitat, and while、well, the green stuff,、oh, man, with the red and whiteish colors, they just look absolutely fantastic in this beautiful area. I am a little bit surprised that they are both inside here. Like, would that mean that they are not able to use the burrows? I actually would not be surprised if that is a thing. That are maybe, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell if there is like an option. It's available.、Uh, breeding status is available. That is, it's not like if they are able to reach it. I I think they should be able to get in here. I don't know. We have to wait and see. Maybe I messed something up. But I thought like as soon as they just want to go in there, there is just an animation starting, and it does not really matter what you have. In front of the in front of the burrows or something like that, we have a bungo that is about to inbreed. That is actually not really good, and we are too late. So there's nothing else we can do about this. All right, I need to show you guys. I already added a few more staff buildings, so we now have like we had like a really messy corner right over here for the reptile house. So I now replaced that. With this bigger staff building, and then this one is also connected to that. So the red fox is connected to that area. <gasps> oh, the cheetah is! I, 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 did I actually add a cheetah in there as well?、Uh, staff work zone, cheetah. No. Oh gosh. Okay. So the cheetah needs to be added in here as well. So that should now all be good <laughs> for cheetahs.、Um, so that should run very well. Then we have. A little bit of space before the last animal right over here. Then we have. I did adjust this a little tiny bit right over here, and this is now connected to basically the flamingo habitat. This is connected to the all the way to the backside, basically to the、uh, entrance staff buildings right over here. And we have another staff building right over there, which is connected to the okapi. Flamingos are also connected to this area, so things should be running a lot smoother、uh, now because there is not like too far away to walk. Only this might be a little bit too far still, but maybe, maybe if we have one more habitat right over here, which is going to be connected here to the okapi habitat and to here. And then we can maybe potentially just add one more staff building right over there. I, I honestly don't really mind. I think that is going to be perfectly fine. Oh right, I also want to check our staff real quick. So、um, if we just check right over here, there is the African savanna, but they these two have a low workload, and then you have a high workload. So, oh, you have a low amount of energy, efficient workload. Oh, right. Okay, so you just need to go to some staff room. Oh, that's also something I want to check real quick. So I'm gonna add some staff healthcare and social club right over here at the staff buildings. Uh, okay, these are low. Is there red? There is one educator that has a high workload, but you are not completely trained yet. We have one mechanic also with a really high workload. These two also need to be trained. And if we scroll down, we have oh, where is that? Where are you? 
Is this the... Oh, this is the entrance zoo merch area. Well, I, I don't really think that we can do anything about that. I'm so sorry. You know what? We're just going to train all our staff. And that should be good from here. And then let's go and check the food tab real quick. So we have the rat fox, which obviously needs to be researched still. The rest is all already on grade three. So that is really good. Um, now I do want to go back to our bats because I was able to get a few more bats from... Ooh, look, look, look. I'm just going to... Oh, 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 click, click, click. Click, click, click. I'm <laughs> just going to get them all. But I don't have to because they are, are breathing pretty fast at this point. Uh, so they're actually doing really well. Okay, we have 11 in here which is six females and five males. So if we just make sure that we got one and two, you two are getting in here. And then how about this one? Seven and five. Yeah, the, <laughs> we need more males because now I'm going to add two more females in here, which actually is not really needed. But I do already want to set up the management tab in here as well. So. I'm going to make sure, like, how many? 35? Was it 35? I think it was. If we just check the bat. 3 to 35. It doesn't say anything about males and females. So I would say just have 17 males and 17 females. And then just turn this on. And I think that's going to be perfectly fine if we do it like this. Oh, does that mean that... Like, the bats can escape or something like that? I actually do not know, but it could be. Okay, we're gonna turn this one on and that one on. 17, 17. So, right. Whenever anything happens and we get, like, this, this crazy baby boom or something like that with the bats, then everything should be all right and we don't have to worry about that at all. Okay, so if we go quickly to do, 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 what tab was that? I think facilities. Uh, do we have any issues? We have some pip shop water, which is also at the entrance area right over here is a high demand and high demand. There already are there is not even a line here. What are you talking about? Okay, has fantastic loony balloons. Yes, those are the only two gift shops. I'm gonna see if I uh, can squeeze in one or two more gift shops in a later stage in the like the last episode or something like that because that is definitely something that we need to pay attention to. All right, let's have a quick look. What? Oh, that's a kit. <laughs> that's a toy. Oh gosh. Okay. So, wait, 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 stop, 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 <laughs> stop, <laughs> oh my gosh, me following the rat fox, so the female is the normal colored one, and the male is with pee baldism, and, um, okay, I am, like, normally, I don't really want to wait for it, but I really do want to wait for these guys to become pregnant and see some babies in here. I just really am too excited to see them. Oh, we actually have some fighting in the now monitor habitat. And I was like, wait, how? How is that even possible? Like, I thought these guys would grow up like, it would take tons of time. Uh, I'm gonna put these guys up in the training center. So it's, it's these two. So if I just unselect, can I just do that? Like, yes, okay, perfect. So now if I compare their mates, they're not too old or anything like that, right? 60%, no, should all be good. So hopefully they can get in like some new now monitor babies. And uh, I'm curious to see if that is going to be too many or that this is going to be all right. I'm going to put the other two. Shall I put them up for adoption? I mean, we could do that. We can just trade them for 110. Do we have any more exhibit animals in here? Oh, yes, we have quite some exhibit animals in here. Quick trade, earn some money. Oh man, it, I really do love 
this management feature it's going to uh, make things so much easier to control absolutely love it it's always the same in planet zoo if you're gonna wait for it it's not going to happen and if you're not waiting for it you totally miss out on it and um in this case they're still not pregnant and uh, i've been waiting for for a while now and nothing is happening so yeah i'm so sorry guys but uh, we have to wait until the next episode to see if they are going to bring in some babies but yeah do let me know of course in the comments down below what do you guys all think of this new red fox habitat that we created for african mini zoo leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching Bye guys!